Holding and processing area. If you get arrested by a uh, New York police, it could be another police department to check to come here, but if you get arrested by a New York police officer and you need to go talk to a judge or get fingerprinted, this is where we're going to take you, okay? We have a garage that's just on the other side of this wall, and it's got a secure door on the outside. So we get on our radio, tell the dispatcher that you know, we're here with a, a prisoner, and they'll let us into the building, and then we'll bring him back into here. Once they're back in here, um, we start filling out the paperwork and like who they are, uh, why they've been arrested. We'll send paperwork to the court if they need to talk to the judge about what it is they've been arrested for. Um, we'll, also, we'll also take your pictures and your fingerprints. All that's done on the computer, and that's right here. It's all done on this machine right here. Like this uh, red light on this machine is a laser. So we'll roll your fingerprints. We'll do, there's no ink involved, so it's not like from the old days in the movies where everybody ends up with a black hand, so it's all very clean, a lot easier. Plus, the computer can tell us if it's a good fingerprint or a bad fingerprint. And then, when we did the ink, you'd have to look at the card and you know, you know, have your own judgment. Is it smudged? Is it not smudged? Now the computer tells us if it's good or bad. Um, you can also take your pictures on the, on the computer right here. And all this information gets captured and sent into the database in the state. And turn the federal government to look at it also, if they want to. Um, once you're back here, uh, women and men, we, we separate them. So it's like, you know, if we have a, a, a woman arrest, we'll have a female officer search her so we don't offend anybody or uh, have an accusation that says we search them inappropriately. Um, also, like, if we had a male prisoner come in right now and then another officer was bringing a female, we put the male back there and the female would come here so that way the two couldn't say, you know, he tried to. You know, kiss me or whatever. So, you know, so we avoid any kind of uh, uh, potential awkward situations. So um, the cells themselves, uh, we have six holding cells where you can actually sleep in here for up to three days. So we've, I've been here for almost 14 years. We've never had anybody here that long. Maybe like a day, a little over a day is the longest. That's for like an ongoing investigation, which normally involves drugs or if it's like a serious crime where we're looking for. Uh, partners in that crime, so we'll keep those people here trying to get information out of them. Um, but for the most part, if you're in here for, for a matter of hours at the most before we're done with you, either releasing you after talking to the judge and taking up to the candidate on the loan to if you can't pay bond. Um, I'll, I'll show you the rooms where we're back there, but they, some of the people saw the rooms back there. They're all the same. They have a little wooden bed. Um, a toilet and sink in there, so and they're all monitored by uh, video cameras and dispatchers. You can't leave you alone back here in case you get sick or a medical emergency, so you're monitored to make sure that you're okay while you're back here, too. Um, this room right back here is our DUI processing room. You can take a look in there. There's two machines. It's got like a long black little hose, basically, and when the machine's all set, we can tell, ask you to blow into it. You provide a breath sample, and then that machine will tell us uh, what your blood alcohol level is. And anything above 0.08 means you're legally intoxicated in Delaware, so then you're a keeper, so to speak, and we write you a ticket for DUI. And you have to go to court for that. Uh, we've got a little in interview room back in here. And um, you know, if we need to talk to you about uh, what it is you've been arrested, where you think there's, you have more information that could help us with other things, we'll talk to you in there. Um, if you, I mentioned uh, when you come back here, sometimes you have to go to court for uh, what you've been arrested for. Well, we had, when I first was hired, when somebody had to go talk to the judge, we had to drive them to court. But they've got a much improved video phone system now, so we don't have to drive people around in court. So if you're arrested, we're going to get you on the video phone, and I'll show you where that is. And then you're going to talk to the judge on the video phone, so there's no more driving around, unless that machine happens to be broken. But that's pretty infrequent, so chances are, you know, you get arrested, come here, and you either get to go home or go to jail. <laughs> so it's uh, one.